Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, if you like today's weather, you're pretty much going to like tomorrow. Cloudy, mild, humid, few passing showers. The day won't be a washout, though, but some misty drizzles developing later tonight. They may be around first thing in the morning and then maybe a little bit of a break during the day. Maybe one minute of sunshine in there and then clouding up again. Look out for Wednesday, though. We got showers and storms on the way. And we're hatched in for a risk of severe weather. Not sure, though, whether it's going to happen or not. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. Here's the big picture with a big ridge of high pressure down in the southern Gulf of Mexico. That's helping to shuttle Gulf moisture up through Mexico. And then we have this upper level low that's digging in the southwest and that's energizing the subtropical jet stream that has connections all the way down to the equator. This could arguably be called an atmospheric river setting up right here. That's going to be dumping very heavy rains, mainly north of our region during the course of this week and beyond this week as well. And right now there are flash flood watches in effect for the northern part of the state all the way over to Georgia. So some heavy rainfall and flooding ongoing right now and back to the west is going to be snow across New Mexico portions of Colorado and this upper level system is going to be our weather instigator come Wednesday in the near term though southerly flow feeding all the storms to the north. It got breezy late this afternoon early this evening. We do expect the winds to die down a little bit, so I would look for some light fog at the very least to develop. It's going to be thicker down along the coast and offshore where a dense fog advisory has been issued. As for rainfall, not a whole lot showing up on the ray, radar right now. That doesn't mean you might not see a misty drizzle. Those very fine mists that make you turn on the windshield wiper and then turn on them off and you can never get the interval just right. All the action up in the northern part of the state where we're seeing some strong storms north and east of the Monroe area over toward Greenville, Mississippi. So here we go. I'm going to show you two models here. This is the NAM model is showing you the frontal boundaries. Again, we have a front that's going to sag close to the area tomorrow, so that's why it's going to stay overcast and some showers. Then that front begins to move northward as a warm front by this time tomorrow night, indicating there will be more shower activity at that point. And then as we head into Wednesday, we'll be watching that area of low pressure scooting to the north, a frontal boundary extending to the south and along that front and maybe behind it, some strong showers and thunderstorms as we go into late Saturday afternoon, early Saturday evening. Now I want to show you our latest Futurecast model and it looks like the computer is kind of in between uh, weather models right here. I don't know if we're stuck on the weather system or not. Uh, so we'll see if this is going to change. But the bottom line, storms are on the way. It looks like the computer is locked up. So uh, let's see the hot button. Go for the hot button. Will the hot button get us there? No, we're going to we're going to end it right here and we'll come back with the uh, extended 10 day forecast coming up in just a bit. And that's what we get when I use four different computer models in the weather cast. And for some reason, it just broke it. Didn't she you? just froze. Yeah, we'll, this thing we'll, you can't like shake it or anything. No, no, no I go back with the computer in the back. and shake it. Right, Sorry we'll, about we'll that. Let we'll you, have more later on. We'll let you go do that. We'll okay, check back thanks. with you in just a bit. Rob,